Okay, we are back with the... Vision Gorgio! <laughs> what you don't get to me, this is my uh, version of tagging a virtual wall, okay? It's vandalism what I'm doing here. <laughs> hey, you know, speaking of the web, uh, you, know, you know that guy I always tell you it's a friend from Facebook, his husband, uh, the CrossFit versus bodybuilding, the clanging right. of the steel, if you want yeah. to hear metal bang. Yeah, what, what about it? Well, basically, my friend, which is an accomplishment, he's become a, uh, one of those, he became professional in that um, fitness bikini shit. You know what I'm talking about, where they, it's not all huge, but you're huge, I mean, that's when you're in the bikini. Yeah. You know it, that stuff. It's what has replaced uh, women's bodybuilding. Yes, because it's not as gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as gross. But yet, it's not. It's one step above being. Because um, you know, there's it's a. It's still tweaking yeah. out your body. Oh your yeah. Crazy fucking nutrition regimes and exercise regimes. Hey, more power to you if you can pull that off for a couple of years. Go for it. Enjoy it. But realize that that comes at a price. Yeah, I mean, a lot of sacrificing. Well, it's like all those guys that got big in the, you know, back when bodybuilding was the thing, and you know, it just got, <laughs> but then, you know, five years out, your kidneys and your liver give up, or oh fucking, God. you remember Lyle Alzado? Yes, that's you know, right. Brain cancer? Oh, jeez. You know, it's like, this shit comes at a price. You don't see too many old bodybuilders. <laughs> Do you remember... When Hulk Hogan lifted Andre the Giant, I mean, I would like the physical, the theatrics of it, because Andre the Giant jumped up. Uh -huh. You notice that? Yeah, it's like, you know, like wrestling. Yeah. Like you, you got me, bro. You got me, bro. You got me, bro. <laughs> exactly. Here we go. This is for the show. <laughs> because it's so, you know, and everybody's hollering. I have friends on Facebook Corn that love that shit. Uh -huh. I don't know if they think My it's kid real. My brother loves that shit. Even though it's <laughs> he realizes it's it's stupid that it's just. You know, it's, but the thing is, I used is, to dig it when I was younger. I, I've come around to it actually. I always look down on it. But the the, the physical specimens and some of the shit they're well, that's, doing. That's, that's, that's what I'm why saying. you gotta that's watch it. I've come around to it. I, I I realize, okay, yeah, it's theater, but it's very physical theater, and these guys are very physical good at it, at it. And, and good at yeah, it, they, and they, act through it. They're willing to, you know. Throw their body into the storyline. Do you remember Steve Austin? Yeah. There was this, it was floating on uh, Facebook, at least it was among my friends, because, you know, I have a lot of uh, friends in that yeah, realm. Yeah, yeah. There was one where Steve Austin, it was like, I think it was one of those slams or something. Mm -hmm. Every pandemonium from the walkway to the ring, 15 guys in the ring, and there's good guys and bad guys, mind mm -hmm. you. In the hallway, and you know, the cameras are for television, and the crowd's cheering, and the locker room shit's going down, yes. and on the fucking loading dock shit's going down. I remember seeing that kind of garbage. Steve That's Austin ridiculous. rolls in this black SUV, gets out, and starts destroying all the bad guys. Do you remember that? He's in the loading dock. Boom! Yeah, boom! I, I, Someone I throws that. I remember seeing that kind of garbage. Uh, you know, I think you like this physical specimen. Someone threw like two or three or four of those fucking. Fold up tables. And uh -huh. mind you, those things weigh like fucking 35 pounds, dude. <laughs> Throwing them and you're just pushing them away and yeah. then he hits them with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes well, his way to the gym. <laughs> to the that's what I'm saying. I've come around to it because it's kind of... It's it's stupid melodrama, but it's very physical stupid melodrama. That I, took some effort. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to see these thespian types pull off some of the shit. Oh, they couldn't. You know, they couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't get off the loading dock. <laughs> you exactly. know what I mean? Because that was a total Lord of the Rings move. <laughs> yeah. And I watched it. And it was like four minutes, man. Yeah. I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. And another one I watched. Do you remember, uh, what's his name? He goes by his first name, but he was the, not Gravedigger. He, um, Undertaker? He was the under. The, I, I have no idea. I, I, all Frank this, Foley, or all of this shit filters second, third hand to me. Okay, do you remember it was that wild cage match where he? Well, there's uh, always a wild cage. Okay, match. but that's, this it's basically of the the Mickey Rourke one where the guy has like that heart condition mm -hmm. in the ring. He had a heart condition in his ring. It was one where it was like chain link. The the cage was as high as the tree. And they're falling off. <laughs> it was one of those other epic moments. 
Yeah, I don't know. That's how people get killed, man. He almost died. No, the physical. Did one of these guys die doing that shit? Um, no, but they die soon after because of the steroids. Either way, it's a bad deal. It's like race horses. Hey, mm. corn. You remember Ric Flair? And some of these people could really wrestle, though. The Randy, the the Rhodes uh, br- uh, father. I think the mm-hmm. father wrestled. You know, Valentine. I guess there was like he was part of that wrestling. Mm-hmm. A lot of these come from legacies, but some of these people were real deal wrestlers in the '60s right. and shit. But I mean, it's still carny stuff, dude. It is carny. <laughs> it's, it's total carny stuff, man. And these are the guys scoring meth and you know yeah, pills. Uh, you, uh, oh yeah, the fucking carny shit. There's, yeah. there, there's some of their stuff. Uh, what was the guy's name? Rick Flair. Who? You know that? I'm gonna kick his ass. Who? Corn. This show sucks. Who? I find myself doing that sometimes, actually. What? The who? No, but he would do it. He'd do it with this. Who? Like, he'd like, you know, he's talking yeah. to that guy with the, you know, like the mic guy. Who? Uh, I'm kind of glad my kids aren't into that shit, dude. My kids are into some weird shit. I think wrestling, in that sense, is not as popular as it used to be. No. Too violent. Back, yeah, we used to have kids, you know... What we watched as kids in wrestling, there's no way that that could be, you know, mainline entertainment nowadays. Oh, the blood matches? The blood matches, all that violence, all that... And remember, hypersexualized kind of undertones, all that shit. Do you remember the um, what was that one? <laughs> Do you remember Glow? Gorgeous, Gorgeous lady. ladies of wrestling. Yeah, I remember that crap. Some of them were uh, the fish. Thought some of them were hot. So, how many of those uh, ended up in your spank bank? I don't, I don't know. I think I was still too young. Uh, maybe, but honestly, maybe about two of them because some of them were straight. You know, yeah. Bride, Bride of Frankenstein, some of them, but some of them were really pretty. <laughs> Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, anyway, back to the fitness model thing. What, what, why, why were you bringing this up? Mm. Somebody's a pro now or something? She's a pro. Uh-huh. And she was getting picked up at the airport. And uh, cars all done up, like, you know, congratulations. Like, it was a wedding car, you know, like, streamers on it for becoming... Uh, bikini pro kind of shit okay. fitness bikini pro kind of whatever so what does that entail well it's on the costume machine I guess I mean do you get lifetime um, spray tan or they have a store I think okay their own formula oh yeah. I see they're in they're in the supplement game they have supplements but they also have like fitness uh, gloves and gear yeah, they're, they're in the Headband. <laughs> the Jack LaLanne done little. Corn, <laughs> were you ever guilty of lifting weights? All the time. Okay. Corn, did you ever lift in the weights with headphones? Yeah, all the time. Did you ever lift weights with um, cut off jeans, Timberlands, and the fucking flannel shirt? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you see the look? Yeah. The early Joe Weirder yeah. uh, muscle. What's the magazine that was called fa- famous? Oh, God. How do you remember people used to read that in like junior high? Yeah, <laughs> the one, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who listened, who had read the magazine? Talking, yeah. It'd have in their peachy folder next to their um, uh, bottle of uh, Jacar Noir yeah. and their bottle of Brut or something. Yeah. You know those those kids, you know, they were into... Yeah. <laughs> that, that whole scene. Well, what was that magazine though? I don't know, but the, the, those guys when they grew up ended up at, uh, what do you call it, Bear Bars. Do you think they were gay? I see a lot of that same imagery in gay bars sometimes, dude. Even with Not the mo- that I frequent gay bars that often, but when I do, you know, I, I recognize patterns. And I mean, remember that one dude that uh, had that advertisement, uh, I'll give you a shirt off my Oh, bed. God, that's gross. <laughs> Here in uh, San Diego, there was a... It was, it was an attorney. Yeah, it was in the ads for an attorney, but it was in the... A local gay mag. The local gay mag. And his ad was, he's in this suit, sans the jacket, 
and shirt and tie, just bare chested. I give you the shirt off my back to represent you. He's all ripped up and shit. Oh my gosh, bare back. <laughs> Now how should I pay you For compensation <laughs> You know you take me out to dinner yeah, Take exactly. me out to steak dinner And you know what I mean By steak dinner Steak dinner Nibble on the meat Yeah Tube steak <laughs> uh, Are we being homophobic? No <laughs> Do you think they spray They spray cologne on their thing right? I mean a lot of people did Did you ever Were guilty of wearing I cologne On your cock? Uh, yes I'm guilty of that But <laughs> It, it, it hurts, dude. It's something you don't repeat. You think our friend in New Mexico does that? Is guilty today? The box today? turtle? The box turtle is Most guilty definitely. of spraying the cologne original, on... Are you shitting me? It's the original box turtle. <laughs> the box turtle. We never discussed that. Box turtles definitely spray their wee-wee with fucking cologne. That's the original box turtle guy. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. We'll go another minute, Corn. We at the 12-minute mark, but we can... 11 minutes, so we got another minute. Well, there, there's a product of the century for you. Dick Cologne. A scent that people want to smell, but does not irritate the skin. <laughs> you know what we got to do? Do you remember the, how they sold pantyhose in an egg at one point? Yeah. We got to sell men's underwear <laughs> in an egg for, like, you know, you could sell it in, like, uh, <laughs> um... Those, you know, those international mail or those kind of catalog shops or like the, you know, like those. I don't even think people shop in catalogs anymore, man. But, you know, people would buy high-end or high-way, high-end boxers or whatever in an egg. Oh, yeah, that yeah, scene. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, in that scene, yeah, people, uh, what is this fixation with underwear is my question. Because it's like us in women's underwear. I don't care about women's underwear. I really don't. I could see I want some them naked. Like, I've scooted underwear to the side on women. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's, it's just, it's underwear. It's like. <laughs> you don't do any of that kind of like, what's that? Um, what they wear the leather pants at wrestling um, in Europe? It's like Armenia, they have that <clears throat> oil wrestling and they wear oh. the leather pants and you can put your hands down the pants. <laughs> you can do it with the girls on their underwear and just rip no, it off. I think I'll pass on that pastime, thank you. <laughs> We're at 12 and a half minutes. See you next episode.